friends welcome back to the channel as you might already understood from the title of today's video this is going to be the second video in the series about musicians you most probably didn't know were Norwegians well I have a question if I say like Norwegian, like typical Norwegian male, what is the first thing that comes into your mind? Well, for me, and I'm quite sure that also for you, a typical Norwegian male that comes into the mind would be somewhat like a Viking. And I guess everyone has watched the famous TV show Vikings. And in my mind, the way how Travis Fimmel was looking in that movie, I guess this is how I perceive the looks of a real Norwegian Viking. Well, I guess I just went off the topic, but from the other side, actually, I didn't went off the topic because this musician I will be talking about in the following minutes is closely related to the TV show Vikings. His name is Einar Selvik and he's Norwegian and he's from Bergen. In 2014 he announced on his Facebook that he will be uh, collaborating with this TV show, namely he will be creating the music for this TV show. And a fun fact that Einar Selvik not only created the music for Vikings second season, but he also participated as an actor. They continue to use a lot of Varjuna music. In the last two seasons, whenever you hear anyone sing funeral songs or drunken songs, stuff like that, that's my work. I think it's a very interesting project to be a part of. I know a lot of people criticize the show for not being historically correct, but you have to remember that this is an entertainment show. It's not meant to be for history nerds like myself. But in spite of that, I think they deserve credit. It's a huge step in the right direction in terms of wanting to represent truer image or to get rid of stereotypes. I think they do a lot of the stuff right. Yes, this is him and the song actually gives you a lot of goosebumps, such a strong vibe. He creates sound also for famous video games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and also Riot Games. Not a gamer, but even I know these games. So, as I mentioned, he's very into Nordic uh, ancient culture and music and he's very competent and very interested in this topic. He is adherent of modern paganism, characterized as animism. I'm a strong supporter of individual responsibility. No one died for my sins. This is a slightly pagan body of thought. The gods help those who help themselves. It mirrors that you are your own god. That is your responsibility, how you behave, what you contribute in this world. So, what is actually Vardruna? The group uh, formed in 2003 in Bergen and it consists of several members. They are dedicated to creating musical renditions of Norse cultural and esoteric traditions and make significant use of Nordic historical and traditional instruments, including deer hide frame drums, flutes, Kraviklira, Tagel Harpe, Mouth Harp, Goat Horn and Lure, non-traditional instruments and other sources of sound like trees, rocks, water and torches are also used. I thought in the beginning that it would be <laughs> too, too sort of far out for, for most people, but uh, when I started showing like demos to, to both people in the industry and, and to friends and and saw that they, they reacted very strongly to it in a, yeah. in a positive sense. Then I, I kind of uh, saw that, yeah, maybe, maybe it has, <laughs> there are more people than me who have sort of wanted this type of uh, so, so, music. Yeah, so. When I, I started this, like early 2000, uh, started going, going into to, uh, the process of finding instrumentation and, and studying them. And, and at that point, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of people who, who knew much about them. Yeah. Now there is a big popularity uh, around and interest around these things. But back then, it was a handful of people in in Scandinavia who yeah. who, who knew anything about them or, or built them or, or whatever. So that was of course a a long process of uh, both acquiring them, either building it myself yeah. or have somebody build it for me, uh, and then sort of 
learn how, how, how they work. <laughs> The band has released several full-length albums based on Norse runes and other ancient Norse sources. So it's more or less all about that old Nordic history. Vardruna in translation means the guardian of secrets or she who whispers. So there's no secret that they gained a lot of attention after participation in the Vikings and the album that uh, was released in 2016 became very popular because of that and people kind of wanted to listen to them and they became popular and this album actually reached number one position in Billboard's world uh, album chart. And now I will start with this legendary song sounding like this. I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. According to the statistics of my YouTube channel, I understand that people who are watching this video most probably recognize this song and most probably were dancing like crazy in discos uh, under this track. And most probably, no, I'm sure you know the name of a band called Aqua. Yes, you will be saying, yeah, but they are Danish. But did you know that the lead singer, Lene, was actually Norwegian? Lene was born in Tonsberg, Norway in 1973. Her full name is Lene Grafford Nystrom. I hope I pronounced it correctly. When she was a teenager, she became very interested in performing. She started as a model and later on she worked as a bartender. Then uh, in the 90s, she appeared on TV in a show called Casino on TV Norge. You skal selvfølgelig få ditt smykke. Men samtidig skal du få lov til å kvittere for det, men ikke riktig ennå. Uh... In 1994 she started to work on a Norwegian cruise ship as a performer and she was noticed by René Diff. And after meeting Lene, uh, René Diff invited her to become the lead singer of his group Joy Speed. And later on they called Joy Speed Aqua and we all know what Aqua is. Now, a little bit about her personal life. We all like those personal details, you know. Actually, for several years, Lenny was dating René Diff, who invited her to join the group, but then they split up and Lenny actually got married to another member of Aqua. His name was Soren Rasted and they were married for more than 15 years. They got two children, but unfortunately they got divorced. But in almost all interviews, Lena is speaking very lovingly about all of her group members. We've been through our differences. It's like being married when you are four people in a band and we still have some of the same crew members and everything. I'm actually most proud of what we have achieved, of course, publicly, but also what we have achieved inwardly. We are still the best of friends and we will never lose that. Can you actually imagine that it's now more than 20 years since we first heard the song Barbie Girl? It's crazy, it makes you feel very old. I'm old! No doubt that the song was one of the most popular songs of the group, but it wasn't always like pink and fluffy and beautiful and Ken in the car. There were actually some problems related to that song. In 2000, Mattel, uh, they are the producers of Barbie Doll, sued MCA Records, uh, a label that is representing Aqua. Mattel claimed that the song uh, Barbie Girl violated their trademark and created this image of a Barbie girl uh, as a sex object and blonde and down bimbo. They also said that this song is uh, violating the good image of Barbie doll, uh, which also uh, creates a decrease in the doll's popularity and therefore this is the reason they are suing uh, MCA Records. But in short, in 2002, the court ruled that the song should be perceived as a parody and there was a legal basis on that. I will put everything down there. The judge Alex Kaczynski also threw out a defamation lawsuit that Aqua's uh, record company was filing against Mattel, concluding his ruling, the parties are advised to chill. The case was dismissed.
The group Aqua has survived several splits and several reunions, but the latest one, I guess, was in 2018 when they announced the Rewind Tour in Canada. But back about the lead singer of Aqua, Lene, I must say that she's actually a multi-artist because she's also participating as an actress in different TV shows, in movies, and she's been also a mentor for the TV show Voice for several years. Well, I must admit that I didn't actually know about this girl before you, my dear followers, did not write her name down there in the comment section. Well, I guess I'm a little bit outdated because I didn't know this wonderful girl with this amazing voice existed, but the fact that I am including her in my review shows that, yes, she is like a huge star that has originated in Norway. And somehow I just wanted to say that she's kind of a wunderkind. Oh, and yes, yes, her name is Angelina Jordan. Angelina Jordan Astor is a Norwegian girl whose audition for Norway's Got Talent became a huge sensation and her video from that audition became worldwide viral. A surprise. Angelina at that moment was only seven years old and she was singing Gloomy Sunday in the style of Billie Holiday. And no surprise, she also won Norway's Got Talent. At that time, she was only eight years old and the song uh, in the finals she was singing was Gershwin's Summertime. She has released multiple singles and one album called It's Magic. Her talent actually allowed her to participate in America's Got Talent, the champions in 2020. She performed Queen's The Bohemian Rhapsody and of course she gained a lot of attention to herself. Something really special, a star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskedai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. This performance actually got a golden buzzer from Heidi Klum, which meant that the girl was automatically into the finals. However, she did not get further. But, oh my God, I think that's just one thing in her life because this girl will move mountains. So who is this wonderful young lady with this amazing voice? Jordan was born in Oslo, but for periods she was moving uh, back and forth to Los Angeles and also I read somewhere that she was traveling with her parents to the Middle East. Her mother is of Norwegian descent and her father is Swedish. According to sources, since 2020, Jordan's actually uh, moved to Los Angeles and is going to school there. I will repeat myself, she's such a talent. She plays piano, she plays flute, violin, guitar, she sings and she also likes painting. An interesting fact about Jordan is that she always performs barefoot. Do you remember another singer who does like that? Yes. She is like a reincarnation of Cesaria Evora. So, but there is a reason why she's actually uh, performing barefoot and she has been mentioning this reason in quite many interviews. When I was um, around like six, I was outside with my mom and my grandma and then we were walking by the street and then I saw a girl around like my age and she had a waiting skill and when she was sitting on the ground, she got money by like waiting people, mm. and that was like kind of her job. Um, and so I, I had to talk to her, and we became like friends. And so I gave my shoes to, shoes to her because she was barefoot and she had scars on her feet, and it was really cold. And she's like, "No, you don't have to give it to me." I said, "No." You have to have the shoes. Gav jeg den til hun, og så sa jeg hva er ditt drøm? Og hun sa at jeg vil være en lege. Men jeg kan ikke. Og så sa jeg at du må aldri gi opp. Da sa hun at jeg skal be for deg. Da må du minne på meg.
that that for your apartment. Jordan actually uh, wrote about her experience a book. Automatically, she became the youngest published author in Norway. Since she became famous, Jordan has raised millions of dollars on behalf of environmental causes and also to child charities all around the world. This only shows that this girl who is only in her teens is uh, not another like a sassy girl who just wants to become famous. She's also a very respectable person who thinks about uh, the environment and the planet. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these three musicians that you most probably didn't know were Norwegians. I tried to make this video very contrastive so that there was something of like traditional Nordic music, uh, a new like star and a star from 90s. So I think I balanced it quite well today and this deserves your likes. So that being said, I'm very grateful that you are watching my videos. Uh, make sure you have pressed that subscribe button, notification bell and write down in comments your reviews or anything that comes into your mind after watching this video. I'll be very happy to discuss anything with you. Also, just reminding that my channel is not only about musicians, it also includes other playlists like uh, famous celebrities that you most probably didn't know were from Norway. Also, I just recently started a new playlist with interesting stories from different people who invented or did something great in the world. And there are also videos about my life here in Norway, who I am and stuff like that, my fitness. So feel free just to stroll through my channel and enjoy yourselves. As always, in the last seconds of my video, I'm saying See you next time!